and welcome to Country Sports TV. We're out doing a bit of roost shooting to get rid of some of the crows on the farm in a moment. But I thought I'd give you a quick update on the general licence. On the 1st of January each year, the government issue a general licence to allow us to shoot uh, pigeons, crows, magpies, etc. And each year, they put the methods that can be used on it. Now it's always been assumed that we can shoot normal shotguns. Well now it's become work in practice so this shouldn't really be a problem. The problem with the license this year is that it was issued under the wrong subsection of the Wildlife and Countryside Act. Now this is going to get a bit complicated and there's some figures here. Look it up yourself. The Wildlife and Countryside Act is online and the license is also online so you can look up all the facts yourself and I urge you to do that. The license is issued under section 16 which allows the Secretary of State to issue a license. We have a general license which means that nobody has to apply for it and it is general for everybody. The license to shoot pigeons and crows for crop protection is under K, just a little K. There's a whole long list, A, B, C, D, E, F, and it's K. Unfortunately, this year, some bright sparks, well, as soon as I looked at it, it, it stuck out a mile. The license was issued under J, which was for public health. So, I then contacted DEFRA and said that it was wrong and technically we would have all been shooting pigeons illegally because we wouldn't have had a licence to do so. So I asked DEFRA, under the Freedom of Information Act, a copy of the licence for the last 10 years to see how it's changed. This is the good bit. For the last nine years, the general license has been issued under either I or J for crop protection, when it should have been under K. Look it up yourself, it's all online. So, technically, we have all been shooting pigeons and crows illegally for nine years. The license also applies to larson traps. So people that have been using larson traps haven't had a license to do it. Because if the license is issued wrong, then it's not legislation, it's not law. On the flip side of this, no one should have ever been prosecuted. Because if the general license is wrong, then how can you go to court? It needs sorting out. I know that some of the shooting organisations are on it at the moment. The Union of Country Sports Workers and me are working on it. And the Scottish Association of Country Sports are also working on it. We're also worried about the wording of what methods can be used. It just said semi-automatic weapons. And the description is a five-shot shotgun or rifle that would be on a firearm certificate. And we're questioning whether it applies to a semi-automatic that's on a shotgun certificate. Two or less shots. And if that's the case, how do we stand with air rifles and shotguns? I'm not sure. I don't know the answer. And I've just posed the questions. And hopefully sometime in the next week, I'll be able to come back to you and say, yeah, all sorted, all okay. But please look it up. Please check it. Please be sure I'm right. And uh, looks like the birds are coming in. I'm going to have to go. Cheers.